hello friends welcome to tech like video tutorials uh, if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel to get latest updates and videos on my channel and uh, today i am going to give you overview on uh, cloud warehouses and list of cloud warehouses and anyway past uh, past 15 to 20 years we are working in traditional warehouses then most of the companies are moving to cloud when it comes to cloud, what are the warehouses are available in cloud and their nature and supporting and features. So we will continue in the upcoming series. So today just I will give you overview on what is MPP architecture and supporting data warehouses. So when it comes to most of the warehouses, so most of the warehouses, traditional warehouses, it may be Oracle or maybe Teradata or maybe DB2. So most of the OLAP systems or you can say OLAP databases is enabled with parallelism. So what is parallelism? So parallelism means the same query can process whatever you have data, structured data, rows, that rows can be processed in a single system with a multiple sessions. That is called splitting and processing parallelly. That is parallelism. Then when it comes to MPP, what is MPP and advantages of MPP and supporting databases. So MPP is primarily designed to process on multiple systems. Instead of processing on single system, to process on multiple compute based, primarily multiple computations. How we will utilize that multiple computations? Uh, when your organization data is growing very faster and how your databases or maybe warehouses to support to process huge data or storing huge data and uh, when you are analyzing your data through reporting tool when you are connecting your data you should get a better performance so that's the primary goal of MPP warehouses so MPP is massively parallel processing so when it comes to massively parallel processing so any traditional database so any traditional database you will have a one cluster so the cluster uh, will have a data and compute both so data means storage and compute so when you are running query from client so that will be communicated to your cluster and you will execute that query and that query will fetch the result but if data is growing faster and how you will handle the huge data how you will process the data mean instead of storing a single system or instead of depending on single computation we can go with the storing multiple places and splitting and processing then while fetching also you can fetch from multiple nodes or you can say multiple computations so when you are storing data in single system so always you need to increase that is when you are talking about a scale out increasing the infrastructure which is a computation infrastructure maybe memory ram cpu and disk so any database so any database basic computation is required so that is ram cpu and disk so when it comes to increasing these resources increasing resources on single so you have one cluster okay so in this cluster you are increasing the resources but the storage will be in the there in the same system and the cpus and ram just you are increasing so mpp primary goal is distribution primary goal is distribution instead of storing on single system instead of depending on single computation which you will divide this in single system into multiple so multiple means mm -hmm. you will have a separate storage and separate computation you will have a separate storage and separate computation and you will have one central node where it will communicate multiple nodes you can say that so i will split the data and i will store separately that is called a storage any cloud storage okay then when it comes to nodes computation part i have separate cpu separate ram and completely separate computation i can say that so when you're running any queries through client when you're running any queries through client that will be submitted it may be using any reporting tool or anything and you will have one central node so that will be communicated to all your individual nodes 
and that data when you are loading here it will split and process it will split and process so you will have a separate computation and separate storage okay so if i have a 100 million records 100 million rows so if i can go with the increasing this infrastructure maybe two node four node or maybe i can increase based on my requirement okay so that is called massively parallel processing massively parallel processing means instead of depending on single computation or single system the same records if i go with the four node cluster so node 1 node 2 node 3 example node 1 node 2 node 3 and node 4 i can go with a number of nodes node 4 so this 100 million records i can split and i can process parallelly that is 25 million here 25 million here 25 million So 25 million rows in one node, 25 million rows in another node. Okay, so that is called, it will have a separate computation system where you can find RAM, CPU and uh, when it comes to storage, so this is a completely storage part, storage computation. Okay, so when it comes to storage, you can use any cloud storage or any custom storages depending on service. Or maybe service provider maybe azure or maybe google or cloud or any other clouds so cpu ram and it will have one disk then this is external storage external storage means we will call it as shared nothing shared nothing architecture So shared nothing architecture primary goal is we will split the data and we will store separately. So this 100 million records we will store separately. So 25 million records process through this node and storing into some external location or maybe any storage. Okay. It may be HDFS or maybe if it is a Google GFS, Google file system or Amazon S3 or Azure storage. So I can scale out I can scale out this maybe 10 nodes 20 nodes like this 10 nodes 20 nodes so when you're talking about when you're talking about splitting and processing splitting and processing is called massively parallel processing so it will have one node means own computation and that data we are splitting and processing that data we are splitting and processing on multiple nodes multiple nodes so that we can scale out based on our requirement you can go with a single node two nodes three nodes four nodes hundred nodes so based on your requirement you can increase that so this architecture we will call it as mpp massively parallel processing instead of depending on single computation and we will go with multiple computation so it can reduce the process time and it can reduce the burden on single system because you will have a different computations where it can split and process on individually okay so that 100 million records processing parallelly that is a parallel processing massively means where we are utilizing multiple computations multiple computations means it is not sharing storage it is not sharing computation so separate computation separate storage so just you are dividing and storing so this architecture we will call it as massively parallel processing massively parallel processing so there are many databases are supporting in cloud let's look at that so from azure side azure synapse analytics so you can call it as there are multiple alias names azure sql dw azure sql warehouse azure sql warehouse or dedicated sql pool okay then snowflake so snowflake is third party it is available in most of the clouds and or you can choose their own cloud and when it comes to amazon so amazon is having a redshift 
and Google is having BigQuery. So these are our cloud warehouses. These are our cloud warehouses. Cloud MPP warehouses. So every service provider like every product is having one advantage and disadvantages that we are not discussing here just we are highlighting that these are available at cloud warehouses in cloud if you want to use any warehouse concepts if you want to store your data and you want to analyze your data you can choose any of this you can choose any of this primarily mpp architecture and snowflake redshift and bigquery azure synapse so azure synapse dedicated sql pool or snowflake so from azure side you can go with the Synapse dedicated SQL full or you can go with the Snowflake which is third party or you can integrate in Azure services. And when it comes to Google, Google is having BigQuery. Google is having BigQuery. And Amazon, so Amazon is having Redshift. These are our MPP supporting cloud warehouses. Okay, there are many other uh, upcoming uh, startup companies are also is there but this is primarily where you can say top companies cloud based warehouses if you like this video please subscribe my channel and next video we will talk about synapse analytics synapse dedicated sql pool and that architecture and a few examples how we will store how we will process the data in synapse let's continue with other videos thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel